Like I just, I've already cried <laughs> to my daddy and my sister. So there's nothing that I can do right now. I turned my water pump on to to empty out some of the water in the tank before I cleaned it out and then this is what I see there is a leak somewhere it's on this side and also this side I've checked the water pump area and there is nothing going on and this isn't supposed to happen like And now it's like freaking water in there. General RV did something to my crap. It wasn't like this before I left. Like, what the freak? So yesterday, when I noticed that water that was leaking out, I thought it was the water hose. I thought I still had water left in the water hose. And somehow, you know what I'm saying? It got loose or whatever. But no, it's actually a leak somewhere in my space. And the thing is, it wasn't like that prior to me dropping it off at General RV. I literally had no issues with water leakage or anything like that prior to dropping it off. And then one thing I do want to note is that before, like I said in the last video, that I wanted to fill up my water tank before I actually left, but it was already water in here. The tank was damn near full you know what I'm saying when I went to go fill it up and so they had already put water in here but for what and for how long why why would you I had it there for almost a month why would y'all put water in here and then if you did it for the inspection what well, first off I didn't have y'all do anything like that but then why didn't you drain the water out or for whatever reason like Now I'm going to clear all this stuff back out. I'm going to take all of this stuff out, put it in my sister's garage, empty out the storage area up there, put it in the garage. And then tomorrow they open up at nine o'clock. I'm heading to General RV in Richmond. Actually, I think I might just head there today. Go ahead and um, empty all this stuff out and then just make my way to General RV and stay at a Crackle Barrel so I can be there first thing in the morning. So let me go ahead and do that. That's that's that is what we're going to do. We're going back up to Richmond this evening. I'm a so it is 1 at like 11 30 is when I noticed the water and stuff dripping and let me show you guys so it looks like the stuff on that side is no more dripping and most of it has dried up but you see it's still some water coming um I cleaned out the inside so it's no more water in there and in here is actually dry um <sighs> so I'm gonna just leave that open for a little bit longer I'm about to go inside my sisters and go ahead and get dressed get ready to head out and then it's another you know what I'm saying like two hour drive back to that Cracker Barrel and then that's what we're gonna be at tonight I emptied everything out the fridge and Oh, took all my stuff out of there so y'all I am so I'm, I'm I'm upset like I'm so pissed like I've already cried and you know all that stuff but I'm trying not to like I don't know 
This just literally reminds me of Walmart all over again. <sighs> and that's not what this was supposed to be about. You know, having sister, sister set up. It wasn't supposed to be like this. So yes, I'm very much so upset. Tomorrow, General RV, um, it's, it's, we gonna have some problems. Cause yeah. Oops, let me grab these keys. So, for the most part, it looks like it has, nope, I mean, you still see some, oops, some drippage. Where is the darn camera? Oh, there we go. So, you see a little bit still in there, but for the most part, it kind of had dried up. Um, I'm about to close up everything so we can go ahead and head out. I'm leaving Jada here at my sister's because I don't know what type of mess I'm going to get myself into tomorrow at General RV with these people because for lack of better words I am pissed beyond pissivity around these parts and this is again taking me back to Walmart and uh, I'm trying to keep my composure keep my peace but um I'm upset because look at all this work I did y'all look <laughs> that's my bike over there I put the batteries in here um, everything is literally like what I did yesterday was emptied everything out from my sisters and put everything in place inside of the space as if I'm about to leave make my way to Florida and like for real for real travel so taking all of that stuff from out of here you know and putting it back into the garage like it was just so much work so that's why I was like really frustrated crying and stuff because like I just did so much work yesterday and because I did so much work when I tell you guys like I have not slept through the night since the 21st of March today is oh I don't have my phone on me but um crap I'll put whatever the date is over here, but that's what that date is. So last night was the first night I was ever able to sleep through the night. <sighs> After all of that work I did just to wake up and it's, you know, it's a mess like this. One thing I also want to note is my keys. I had my um, bike keys, that Jason e-bike. I had my bike keys up there. They're not there, so I don't know what they did with my bike keys, where they placed them or whatever. So those are missing. And I literally have it on camera. Those keys were in place when I dropped off my camper that the keys were hanging up and they're not there. And then also, let me show you guys this. What I noticed is broken. So this right here, my um, USB ports, this one is like, pushed all the way in or something like they're not reading properly so what I was going to do is take this off to see what's going on um to maybe they need to be like pushed back the thing is that wasn't an issue before I dropped it off I don't want to speculate and say that somebody was up in my space playing around but things aren't where they were and how they were when I dropped it off I did not drop it off for y'all to for general RV to put water in my tank to you know play with my electrical and all of this other stuff and yeah but again I have to see what this courtesy inspection is about because when I picked it up my awning lights they literally had my exterior and my awning lights were on when I went to go fill up water like they had already had the water filled my all of my exterior lights were on and all this stuff so yeah but <sighs> let's let's get going friends it's just it's just a lot so let's get going <laughs> good music to keep me company because my spirits are low at the moment but 
you know, it'll all work itself out. It has to because that's just how life goes, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get some gas, friends. Take exit 61B. What you're in for? Just hold on, just a minute. Do you know what I'm good for? Um, I made it to Crackle Barrel, friends. We are here, and there's no more water leaking from outside so I can't see anything in here I still had that fan going while I was driving <laughs> let me show you what the space looks like um how I had to like prop up the bed and stuff because I just wanted to make sure everything would dry out even while I was driving I had a fan in place so I'll show you so yes um this is how I drove and uh, the fan was going it still is going but it didn't stay right i hope you can see because i can't move this out of the way so yeah this fan was still going it still is going but i had it propped open so um you know it could be some air circulating through here and it feels dry um i hope y'all can see all right yeah, it's no water or anything seeping out, but you can see how it kind of riffled up a bit um, from the water being there. And down here, you can see where is some water situation. So, like, even over there, you can see, I hope you can see it. I can see it on my end, but um, where it kind of ripples up and stuff down here. So yeah, I don't know. The leak must be coming from somewhere on this side because like when it leaks outside, the puddle is like way big and the water comes into here. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> my drive was really nice. I had really good music. I was listening to my driving playlist, but for some reason, which I'm very happy about, like it was playing music that I haven't heard in so long. Like sometimes my driving playlist will literally play the same songs, but like this time it pulled from the archives or something and I was just, I was vibing. So it was a really good drive. I didn't run into like any traffic. For the most part, people wasn't, you know, being crazy with road rage and speed and all crazy and stuff like that. So the drive was really nice. Um, I'm thankful for that, but yeah, um, I just ordered from Crackle Barrel a pickup order. Um, today is Sunday, so they're doing a pot roast special for like $12. So I'm going to try their pot roast and hopefully it tastes good. And that's going to be um, this evening's dinner. And it is like 4.30. And all I had was a banana and a kombucha. So I'm like really hungry. Um, and I think I was hangry too which contributed to my tears um, earlier that I had, but I will also chuck that up to like frustration um, about the whole situation. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know, I was talking to the Lord while I was driving and I'm like, you know, so far I'm out of pocket like 300 well, I still have those groceries, obviously, but the groceries were specifically for this trip. I looked at my campsite reservation and it was like, you can't get any refund unless it's like seven days prior to the booking. So I could be completely out of that money. Um, I'm going to call them tomorrow. They're closed today, um, but I'm going to call them tomorrow and let them know the situation and see if I can get some of those days back because literally I'm booked for six nights there so that's you know a chunk of change and um once I get to General RV tomorrow I'm gonna pray on it tonight y'all I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna be on my best behavior <laughs> today is just not my day like I went to go get my food they had carried it um to the back to try and get me and so i went inside they were out here so we kind of crossed paths i saw how they was holding my bag but i really didn't like think nothing of it remember y'all i got pot roast 
yeah. So that's all my little juice. Um, okay, good. At least my biscuit and cornbread didn't get soggy. But yeah, let me figure this out so I can uh <laughs> eat me some dinner, y'all. Well, if you like onions, then this is for you. Here's one piece of meat, two pieces of meat. But good thing it came with bread, because this is not a lot of food, friends. Here's my ham. So it's a small little container, but it's more onions than anything else. I got one, two, three, four, five, six little pieces of potatoes, four carrots, and two pieces of meat. Yep, but I got cornbread and a biscuit, and I'm going to eat it all, minus probably all of these um, onions, but I'm starving, so bone apple tea, friends. This pot roast is not where it's at, but at least I'm in my space, and I can doctor it up a bit because, baby, it just tastes like meat, potatoes, carrots, and tomatoes and meat juice <laughs> I was thinking about getting the fried shrimp but I'm like no I didn't want you know fried food and then get more fried french fries and just mm -mm. but next time I'm gonna just go with the fried shrimp <laughs> but I'm still gonna eat this cuz I added some steak seasoning to it and some salt a little bit of hot sauce and now it's edible <laughs> Uh, top of the morning to you friends it is a new day it is like 8 I think 8 20 and we have about 30 minutes of driving till we get to a uh, general RV I was able you know I bought water and stuff like that for the uh, initial trip so I was able to brush my teeth wash my face all that stuff with bottled water um, <laughs> in the bathroom um, so yeah I'm gonna be there right when they open up friends so just I just really hope today goes well um, I didn't sleep well last night it was just a you know wake up go back to sleep wake up go back to sleep type thing anticipating this morning so you know I try not to stress about things that I literally have no control over but this this is really kind of like you know stressing me so Let's go ahead and get on the road and uh, make our way to this place and, you know, fingers crossed, things, you know, go well, I guess. <laughs> gonna come over and talk to me and that was the same guy who was outside when I was refilling the water tank he was the one who was actually helping me so hopefully his memory works and be like yeah she didn't even have the water on that long before you know it was already cool oh and I see Nikki directly in front of me too so we shall see friends <laughs> bang down low and then park over in the customer area then go inside so the BRB. it dripped out right in here and dripped all in and it was constant because it wasn't sealed 
so yeah the leak was actually coming from here um this is the area that they were supposed to fix that cap that was on the outside that we were waiting for the parts yeah so the spigot when they attached the thing they didn't tighten it so water was just shooting out I didn't even clean out this area because I didn't realize water came over here so one of my bag of clothes smells like mildew this right here is still wet and you know it's all ruffled up like it's still wet to the touch so I'm gonna have to have some fans going in here um, I'm gonna wait I'm waiting to speak with Nikki this is wet too um, so that stuff smells like mildew um, I'm waiting to speak with Nikki, the person who was helping. Um, see, wet. Stuff is still wet. Uh, they need to write this up. Because my thing is, this wasn't an error on my part. And if, you know, a month, two months come down and my wood and stuff starts to bend and I want to do a claim, it needs to be on General RV, especially if I get mold and stuff in these areas. It's on General RV because they messed it up and like I was telling the guy like this this is a big investment and y'all playing with my money you know what I'm saying like the warranty and all of that stuff like this is on them so they need to figure out how they are going to fix it I don't care if y'all have to hold my vehicle for a minute to go ahead and um you know fix the boards and stuff like that replace replace the boards because I want it in the state that it was when I initially delivered it to you guys for repairs so I'm about to speak to Nikki and then after that I will be speaking with the manager because um homie don't play that like I'm not gonna be the one that's left with the short end of the stick because of their error you know what I'm saying so yeah we have some riffled boards and all that stuff and I, I don't like that at all so I'm just noting this for the camera. This is up underneath the bed as well. The water got through down here. So you can see where this is riffled up. So up under here is wet or was wet. Oh my gosh. All of this back here too is riffled up. It didn't make it well yep you can see some on that other side over there is too but all of this needs to be marked because water got through all of this down here and this is still wet 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 Hmm. You can see the water puddles still here. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to hold a camera steady. But I got the little fan going down here. Hopefully to try and help dry some stuff out. But, um, yeah. <sighs> this is just not the bee's knees. I'll point good. out everything that's that you're concerned with that you want to replace. I'll measure it and I'll, I'll document it all. Okie okay? dokie. And uh, this is a long piece so what we do is I'll... So that board that I just showed you guys, um, I had Jason, that's his name, pull it back so I can look and see if there was any water damage um, behind that panel and also on that uh, the panel and then also like the wall. And yeah, like you saw, it was water damage and the stuff is like still wet. So Jason, he is actually going to take all of the measurements um, for all of those pieces that I showed you previously and they're going to like order you know all of the wood and stuff like that to be able to do those repairs <sighs> so the leak has been fixed my water pump is no longer like making noises and stuff like that so that's good um, I still do have that campground booked for I think like four more nights so um, I'll still be able to leave today I'm gonna make my way to Courtney's 
um, and load up everything and then I'll probably make it out tomorrow. But that's what, two nights of money that was wasted. So again, I'm going to talk to Nikki. I don't care what she has to do or, you know, make a note or whatever, but like they, they're playing with my money. Um, and I want that money back from those two nights that I missed out on. So we'll figure all of that stuff out later. Um, but yeah, I was just, you know, being firm, like, Hey, I need my camper in the state that it was when I dropped it off. And this, this is not it. So, oh, and also they're going to look at the cameras from the bay to see, um, you know, how water, you know, the full tank of water and then why I have like a third of black water and all that stuff in my tank as well. So we'll see what comes with that. But yeah, back to the waiting area. All right, friends, we are back in one half of Sister Sister, and um, they just did the whole write-up and everything, and unfortunately, um, they have to order the parts. All of the wood, um, Jason, he did all of the measurements and everything. I just got finished speaking with Nikki. Um, he did all of the measurements, and um, they said it could take about four to six weeks for everything to be delivered, so... I was able to schedule a drop-off appointment for like the 21st of June so I still I'm gonna make my way to Florida um, you know the first week in May because I still have to get my new plates my disabled vet plates I still have to do my solar project on um, Tamara and everything and then huh, I had all intentions to go up to Niagara Falls and Toronto um, but we'll see you know if that still happens or if it just get pushed back maybe I just have to make my way to the west coast um because I have things I have I have to be in Colorado in like September and I don't want to rush all of this stuff so all in all General RV they took ownership of their error they fixed the leak that's currently there took all of the pictures I have videos you know of everything um that needs to be taken care of now and um yeah uh you know I don't really know how I want to wrap up this video I'm just I'm not completely satisfied because now it has pushed all of my travel and all of that stuff back and I'm gonna be on hold for June I just pray that it'll be a fast turnaround if not you know I'll figure out something as far as like I don't want to be living in my sister's home for however long it takes for the repairs you know what I'm saying so I think this is where I'm gonna let you guys go friends I am not like the happiest but at least they found the leak they took ownership of it and it's not on me my water pump isn't making any more noises and stuff like that um, I have a fan going up underneath to completely dry out the area where the uh, water was still sitting and I'll have to wash those clothes that kind of smell like mildew hopefully they're not completely ruined um, but yeah I'm gonna go friends I'm tired and I still have like a two-hour drive back to my sisters so I'm gonna let y'all go thank you guys so much for tuning in to find out where is Brittany this is life <laughs> and I'll catch y'all next time bye